Um, it, we're seeing a backsliding of democracy everywhere around the world. And, and it has a lot to do with all sorts of different things, um, you know, anxieties around the, the pace at which the world is changing and people are looking towards easy answers or strongman leaders that are sort of reassuring. Uh, and democracy is hard. Yeah. And it requires, it requires work. It requires tending. Uh, it requires deliberate efforts to not just you know, believe simplistic answers, either from the left or the right, but know that you have to actually work at it and plug away and be almost earnest in how you lead things. And that idea of responsible leadership contrasts directly with um, some of the simplistic button pushing that happens out there in, in you know, accelerated and enhanced by social media tools. Mm -hmm. But the, the challenge has been there a long while. When I got elected in, in 2015, so seven years ago, one of the things that we put forward, and I, I remember saying this a whole bunch of times, um, attack politics, divisive politics, negative, stirring up of hate, hate and fear and differences, the dirty secret is they work. Mm -hmm. Even back in 2015, they work to get you elected. Sure, yeah. You can do that. You can mobilize and get elected. It's just what we're seeing is that once you've used those methods to get elected, it becomes incredibly hard to govern responsibly for all citizens in bringing people together and getting big things done. Because once you start you know, churning up anger, it just it just feeds on itself, and if you're not continually throwing fresh raw meat at it, right. um, it, it 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 will get away from you entirely. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's where we're seeing uh, in Canada a certain number of of you know people who stirred up that you know, starting to t starting to have it sort of turn back against them a little bit. Mm. I, I want to pull this thread a little bit.